mile 907.6 Mile 919.8 28.9 point six away from the summit of Donahue I just wanted to film kind of going up this little stretch there's a whole bunch of stair stair sets that was obviously made by the PCTA or other volunteers but there's a lot of water as you can see and the water is really clear you know I find myself almost stepping directly into puddles because the water is so clear the sun hits it just right yeah, see you at the summit. So here I am at the top of Donahue Pass, 11,073 feet. Got a sign that we're about to enter the Yosemite Wilderness. And that's what it's looking like over there. And that's where I came from. Absolutely stunning. Here's the first look we get of Yosemite Valley. Yosemite, rather. One of the valleys. Well, 933.3. Quite a large meadow over there to the right. The water here is so unbelievably clear. So beautiful. Olmsted Point. Yosemite in a nutshell. Goodbye forever. Oh no. Hiccup just lost her hat. Oh, you got that. So some wind caught Hiccup's hat. And now she's fishing it out of the creek. And she got it. So I'm at Yosemite National Park right now, or Yosemite National Parking Lot. Because as you can see, it's freaking people everywhere um, 
pretty awesome waterfall over there. Yeah. yeah. People in every shot that you try to take on your camera, though. It's starting to rain. Yosemite National Park. People just making stupid cairns everywhere. There's half dome in the background. Two bucks chilling right there. Mile nine, forty six point four. Not really sure where the trail goes. I think I just missed it. It's kind of funny. Because of all the cairns I've seen, they've mostly been useless until I got here. Absolutely beautiful though. Some of the campgrounds along the trail have outhouses. Pretty nice one. Mile Going up and over Benson Pass. Still got some snow on August 4th. Just heading down Benson Pass. Trail goes down that way. Pretty beautiful. Mile 966.9. There's a lot of these little staircases, you know, kind of like a cobblestone road in the uh, Yosemite Valley, or not valley, but Yosemite uh, section of the PCT anyway. Probably some in the valley too, I would imagine. Kind of a pain in the ass to walk on though. Mile 970.3. Got a waterfall back there. It's pretty steep downhill. You can see a lot of switchbacks. Not your typical beautiful flat PTT. Kind of reminds me of parts of the Appalachian Trail. This is the log to cross Paiute Creek. Mile 974. As you can see, there's still snow. 
mosquito trying to bite my hand. Cool little staircase. Some water flowing down it. So much water here in the Sierras, it's beautiful. This is Carrick Creek. This is where poor hiker tree got swept downstream and they found her body a little over a week ago. Well, about to be my turn to give it a go. So the trail's down there, climbing up, trying to navigate across this waterfall. So I just walked across a little waterfall. That's the trail right there, those little steps. Comes down over here. Water everywhere. Been raining a lot lately. As you can see, looks like another storm's coming in. Uh, still got about a mile of uphill. Which really isn't that bad right now. Actually and going downhill a bit. <sighs> Mosquitoes everywhere. Mile 992.8 So here's a view of Dorothy Lake And the trail walks right along it Really really pretty So this is the view <clears throat> going that way you're entering the Yosemite wilderness <clears throat> and as you can see that the uh, sign is still covered under snow and this is the way I'm going out of the Yosemite wilderness off to Sonora Pass a little behind the scenes on the PCT experience Shooting a little time lapse. 1,000 miles. Come a long way. Still got a long way to go though. Here comes Hiccup. Back from her poop run. <laughs> really pretty out here. Still snow on the mountains. You can see your breath in the morning. Camp, breaking it down. Hitting Kennedy Meadows North today. Woohoo! So here I am, Sonora Pass. Came from up that way. It's a pretty gnarly glissade over there. But 
this is where we're going. We're gonna be walking along that ridge over there. How cool is that? So, I'm walking over Sonora Pass right now, and I'm pretty excited because I haven't had a shower and I can't even remember how long. It's been that long. It's double digits. But not only do I get a shower, I get to do some laundry and get a bite to eat, some food that I don't have to cook myself. Vegetables, ah. Oh. See you guys down the trail. 1011.9 I just gotta pan this way because man oh man looks like we're leaving most of the snow behind though which is nice for now so, walking down Sonora Pass, or over it rather, I'm given a choice. Footsteps to the trail, or epic slide. Epic slide. That was awesome. Hopefully I've got enough battery to record this. I don't know if you can see, but there's a forest fire down there. Right now I'm on Sonora Pass. About to go over the, or down to the highway going north. So I'm literally staying in a haunted hotel right now and apparently this room is haunted. There's a woman in a white wedding dress that apparently haunts this place. Pretty kooky. It's not like a dinosaur helmet. That's cool. You said I'll break my leg if I do something. <laughs> His parent just said something to him. Is that your Sonora Pass sign? Um, it was. It was there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was yeah, there. Yeah, that's for... from the last time. So. Here I am just outside of Sonora Pass and I just wanted to make a video talking about the hardships of the trail. You know a lot of people will just post like the happy-go-lucky moments and the beauty and grandeur of the trail but I don't feel like anybody really talks about you know the struggles and you know not just physical but the mental as well you know we've been out here for four months which is way longer than I anticipated to be at a thousand miles <laughs> but uh, you know you start missing your family start missing your friends um, you don't have a lot of cell phone signal out here so you're not able to contact with them and even when you do you know it's just for a brief moment hey hi how you doing and then back on to it but uh you know i think anybody that wants to come hike the trail should 
be prepared for that separation. Even when you get to town, um, you still feel this somewhat disconnection from the rest of society just because you've been out here and, you know, living out of a backpack. It's not, even when you go to town, you know, you, you might get a shower and laundry and feel like you're, you know, back in civilization, but it's very short lived and it's tough and I haven't gotten discouraged yet I still want to hike but you know it is hard the challenges the mental challenges are equally as great as the physical and you know that I say I love my family my friends Anybody watching, thank you very much. I'll see you down the trail. Mile 1024.9. Still got snow bridges here in August. August 11th, I think it is. Still got snow. Crazy, crazy. Mile 1034.7. Pretty epic views. What are you doing? Doesn't seem like nothing. Putting alcohol on that booty chafe? Is that what you're doing? Uh, one thousand fifty two point two. These rock formations just before Eagle Creek are awesome. Uh, 1,057.6 Let's just pan over here real quick Tahoe in a few days I'm at mile 1,067.4 as you can see, the terrain is very different than what we've been hiking in the last 100 miles. It's almost, it seems almost like walking on a volcano.
is freaking cool. One thousand seventy four point four. And yes, it is August, and there is still snow out here. Unreal. I'm actually going to stop recording so I can use my trekking poles. But yeah, wow. So what is this, like a... a short for victory. So this is like a, a pack goat? Yeah, in training. It is. Yep. Oh, that's wonderful. Mile 1,078.3. Mile 1,081.5. And... Check this out, up to my head in wildflowers. Absolutely amazing. That's the way I came from. Gorgeous. One thousand eighty eight 